My name is Bill Reisner, and uh, I'm a lawyer in Tucson, Arizona. Um, I mostly, uh, throughout my practice, uh, I'm a trial lawyer. I do, I, I've got one partner. We do personal injury kind of work. But I first became a lawyer in 1968. And it was during the Vietnam War, 68, you may recall, we just had the 50th anniversary, all the stuff that happened uh, in that year. And after law school, I was uh, went to graduate business school on campus, and I ended up, uh, you know, representing every uh, anti-war thing where things came up, I uh, represented uh, uh, you know, with the women's movement played a critical role in our area, all kinds of things. And uh, have always been very involved in uh, political activity. In 1970, actually, I, uh, the Republicans redistricted uh, the city of Tucson, the mayor and council, on behalf of the Democratic Party in 1970, I filed a, uh, a, a lawsuit uh, and t turn back the uh, the redistricting uh, effort, uh, the gerrymandering of that, and that was you know in the old days when when you could do that sort of uh, 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 stuff. Uh, I've been involved in you know uh, I was sort of the as a, a sideline kind of the political lawyer in Pima County. Uh, in private practice. I was hired by our Board of Supervisors that ran the elections one time, or a couple times for uh, election advice. Our county uh, uh, recorder who's in, involved uh, in, in those sort of things. Uh, in probably uh, 2000, I was, uh, you know, when uh, George uh, Bush uh, stole the election in Florida, uh, I was kind of interested to see if uh, if elections were honest in in my county, so I had myself appointed as an observer, and I, it was fun going through the process because you see how things work at the uh, precinct level, and these are good people that volunteer that help out. You see how the ballots were transferred in, and who and who checked uh, to see if the signature. You know, those, I, I was uh, very satisfied to that. Then I got down and I saw a computer with little uh, lights on and lights on and said, boop, that, those are the results and that's who win. And that was kind of the end of the line for me because uh, I don't know computers. That, that was the whole thing. Then we, we got uh, in our uh, county uh, an election integrity group and with a very unusual group of people that knew elections. A PhD guy from computers retired that wanted to be involved. An ex-NSA guy that was a master programmer that knew computers. Uh, John Brakey involved, who's an extremely bright bulldog. When he bites on, he just keeps looking. Uh, Jim uh, March, who was on uh, the, the board for black, uh, was it? Black, box black Box Voting. And we started a program of saying, okay, what do we need to do to get things certified in Pima County, you know, change the, the way the computer's set up, the protections for the system, and what have they been doing in my county in the past? So we'd like the database of past election stuff. We were the Democratic Party, and our Board of Supervisors was run by three Democrats. They wouldn't let us look at a thing. We got a, uh, I got a, a resolution from the Democratic Party at the organizing convention unanimous asking the Board of Supervisors to cooperate with us so that uh, we uh, could find out what they've been doing. Made a public record request. He said, please don't make us sue you. We have to sue them. They probably spent a million bucks defending our getting what uh, they were doing. And then, of course, we uh, uh, couldn't figure out why they're doing this. What are they hiding? Then eventually we find out that there was a, uh, uh, a $2 billion bond election that they had, uh, uh, that they had rigged and they didn't want to, 
to get uh, you know that information uh, uh, to us. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, actually, for years I uh, litigated concerning uh, that bond election, and uh, it's one thing. What's on the board there? Just uh, uh, cut right to that problem. Right there. This was uh, the something that our county board of supervisors that run the election filed in the Supreme Court in Arizona to prevent them from uh, uh, looking at this case. And they say in there, the only question is whether there's a cause of action based upon the historically committed act. Uh, they put in writing a couple of times that they had cheated in that bond election and uh, there was absolutely uh, uh, nothing that uh, that we could do about that. The newspapers would never print that. It's not covered and that sort of things. Mm -hmm. So what uh, what I want to uh, just is to uh, cover a few points and to set the focus on on the, the large situation. And the focus is that we are in this country facing major problems that need to be dealt with and resolved now. The problems of climate emergency, you can go down your list, food stuff, but we need to deal with these problems in this country and the only tool we have is democracy. The only tool is voting. The only tool is accurately counting and, and that is the fundamental problem that we must deal with because uh, uh, our system is rigged otherwise. Our, the rulers of America are opposed to democracy. Right? The, uh, uh, the basis of, of our country, uh, the property interests and the slavers when they put it in the Constitution so it would look, work slow, they built that into it. The different houses, they built uh, that into it. The judges are opposed to democracy. I can't tell you how many times I've been in court and talked about some fundamental right and their eyes glaze over. Come in and talk to them about why we need this contract thing between this corporate boy. They're interested in that because that's something they can deal with. But the judges, not only is the system opposed to it, but they live in a uh, autocratic system where the U.S. Supreme Court can say that companies are people, that that speech, it, money is speech, things that are ridiculous that every judge down the line is supposed to do. That's the world uh, that they live in. The computerized uh, computers and the computerized elections were built to cheat. That's it. They were built to cheat. They had known problems within them because they need to cheat so that the people's wishes aren't followed with the uh, elections. And I've learned over the years that they're all in it, in on it. And by that I mean I've talked to, uh, uh, because I was representing uh, the, uh, let's say the election lawyer for the Democratic Party in Pima County, which is Tucson, it's a big deal in Arizona. I talked to our, our state uh, Democratic uh, leaders, they don't want to listen. They don't, they don't care. It is phenomenal <laughs> to what extent uh, people in that system, they say, well, if you bring up this thing, then people won't vote. They'll lose confidence in the system. Blah, blah, all of those reasons. So they're in on it from the top. Uh, and uh, we have to, uh, uh, you know, we have to uh, cut through that. Uh, let me tell you, you know, I, I put on the board where our people put in writing that they uh, <laughs> cheated in a $2 billion election, not one word in our local press, not anything can be done. We had testimony under oath by election workers of felonies repeatedly done by our election department. You could absolutely uh, uh, do nothing. And, and it's, not, uh, it, it's not just us. You look in Florida, Tim Canova, when uh, he was uh, had that uh, race against Wasserman yes, Schultz, he, he sued uh, the, the county election director to, uh, because under Florida law, public records law, they could see the ballots. 
got a specific order suing her to see the ballot. She destroyed the ballots. Nothing happened. Mm -hmm. We had a Republican race in Maricopa County. An incredible uh, a race, if I could cut to the chase on this. This was a Republican primary. One guy went by four votes. Okay, one guy, a uh, uh, more conservative guy, actually. Uh, so the first count wins by four votes. Then uh, they uh, are, are going to count because it's so close. In Arizona, you can't get a recount. Not permitted under law. You can get an automatic recount if it's one tenth of one percent. So they got one. They wanted to do a hand count. The Secretary of State sent a memo over. Absolutely not. You're prohibited from doing a hand count. You can't do that. You got to use a machine. They use a machine, the other guy wins by 14 votes. That's no big deal, except 20,000 ballots, when they counted them the second time, they counted 486 more votes. <laughs> and then the, the election director comes to court and says, 18% error rate is within the expected range, no problem. The county attorney cooperates with the uh, election company to hide out their person who had been subpoenaed from coming uh, coming to court. So the judge says, oh, what can we do? You know, sorry, uh, yeah, you lose, the next guy wins. It's a Republican fight. So the Republicans, they're, they're concerned about this. We want to see what happened with those ballots. So Jack Harper, a right-wing Republican chairman of the uh, Senate in Arizona, says, I'll help you, and he subpoenas the ballot. Before they were going to turn over the ballot, the FBI and the U.S. attorney wow. went in and grabbed the ballots uh -huh. and hid them away. Two years later, when the heat died down, they destroyed the ballots. Yeah. The point I'm, I'm getting at, and... and uh, the Trachus can tell you what happened yeah. in, in Ohio, getting orders saying uh, that you're going to hold the ballots, examining, get them agreeing that they cheat, all of those things. Yeah. You can't do it after the election. The whole system locks up. You've got to do it beforehand. And that's the great thing that what Brakey's come up with and what you're going to hear about in terms of ballot images and countings and all the focus has to be on let's see what these guys are going to do let's stop them let's examine it because the whole system the whole system is set up to cheat and voting is what we own it's the people's only tool to straighten these things out and to have democracy yes thank you thank you